September. Teddy, darling. Thanks for coming at such short notice. I admit it would have been more convenient if you came to the office. You're the one that's always telling me you've got to be seen. <laughs> Don't be so mad at me, you. I'm really, really happy you could make it. And we've got so much to talk about. Yes, look, I was going to call you anyway, to be honest. Are you psychic? The new Guy Ritchie movie? <laughs> well, you know how, um... Madonna and I have the same Pilates instructor. Actually, we're pretty good friends. You know, I could ask her, but I... I don't know if I want to put her in a position. <laughs> and for love. No, no, listen to me, Teddy. What I'm saying is, why don't we go through the proper channels, eh? I mean, it can't hurt. Ask her along for drinks. She could bring hubby. You could bring a few names. I'll work on Conrad. I know he's very mad at me at the moment. Amber, but... look. It's not been going well for a while, has it, honey? No. No, I know. But I've, I've had personal difficulties. But, Teddy, I am bursting with new ideas for the product line. Now, listen to this. After we've cracked Japan, how about we go with perfumes, we've bombed eh? in Japan, sweetie. The Yanks are dropping you, so we have to downsize anyway. And as far as films go, let's concentrate on what's realistic. No one in Bollywood is touching you right now, so maybe it's time to look at telly. OK? Well, where is she? She's got the flu. 69. She had the flu last week. What the hell am I paying her for? She sent a replacement, Rog. People get ill now and again. There's no point in her giving it to all of us. Yeah, all right, you can stop showing off now. I can see you're improving. But what I need to know from Elaine is, is can I count on you for the rest of the season? If she's lost interest, maybe I should too. She's sick. So I heard. What, you've been knocking her about and all, have you? Roger! Of course not. No, of course not. Because that won't be happening again, will it? No. What about that shrink I set you up? We've been going to see him. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's really helpful. Don't lie to me, because it just takes me one phone call to check you out. Honest, boss. I'm, I'm doing really well. It's a new leaf. Good. I'm glad to hear it. You won't mind me checking your laptop, then, will you? He hasn't been gambling, Roger. I can vouch for him. I'll tell you what I'll vouch for him. These, when I see what he's been logging on to. It's fine, Mum. I've got nothing to hide. I'm clean. Hey, Carl. You know, I'm only looking out for you. You know that, don't you, eh? I mean, you used to be a good kid, and that's what I need on a team, not some screw-up. Hey, a cup of tea would be nice, Jack. We want to take you in another direction for the moment. Michelle has a finger in all the soap pies. So, and do I look like I'd be sucking down a pint at the Rover's return, hmm? And who the hell is Michelle? You're my agent. If you want to work, you'll consider what I'm saying. Michelle's the right girl for you, OK? She can give you the time that I can't right now. I'm sorry, kitten. Of course, you're free to go with another agency if you choose. It's up to you. But if you want to stay with us, you'll have to trust us to know when we're wasting each other's time. I have to dash, I'm afraid. No time for lunch.